during the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. So if you do not have a Star Citizen game package and you want to try out the game, you can absolutely play the game for free during this entire Expo. Although, I'm going to give you a few warnings in here. And the first one is to be aware that during the Expo, during the free fly events, there's always a lot more pressure put onto the servers the way they're designed right now. And they are running horribly. So there's a lot of issues. People aren't able to get on the trains inside the cities without them giving them issues. Sometimes the frame rates are extremely low and sometimes they're needing to restart or get someone to pick them up. Uh, luckily people in this game tend to be pretty positive as part of a community that they're willing to help each other out. But at the same time uh, it's kind of a weird thing. I'd say try the free fly to see if this is a game that you like and see if this is something that you might want to invest some money in and at the same time right now doing that you might not enjoy the game as much as you can enjoy it when there's no free fly event going on and things are running a lot smoother. I, I can guarantee there's going to be another patch to this game just before Christmas which will add a lot more bugs back into the game and won't be fixed till after Christmas. That always happens as well. But I mean it's a free event right now. All you need to do is sign up and click the, the uh, fly now I think it's, is the, the button and you can download the game and play the game and make your way either start in New Babbage, which is this city right here, or make your way to New Babbage, like I've just done, and head over here, under the clouds. We're gonna go into the spaceport and we're gonna land our vulture here. I was just trying out some uh, salvage. A lot of stuff has changed in the salvage. If I turn on the salvage UI, there's a lot of differences here. This has changed how this looks. This is your ship's max speed down here. That's changed as well. Um, there's been a few things, including how ships behaved while I was using uh, the scrapers, the large scrapers, uh, for the most part. So I don't know um, really what was going on. I'm going to have to actually look into that and try to figure out what these changes are before I can put out really any videos on salvage and how it works. So until then, we're still coming towards, we're right in a cloud here, so you can't really see the spaceport that easy. We're coming into the expo and we're going to try it out. And that's what I'm going to talk about. Um, really, I think I should put the title of this video as Don't Buy the New Starter Pack in Star Citizen. Because, and it's not necessarily because you shouldn't, but because if you're going to get this game, you really want to make sure that you're going to enjoy playing the game and that the ship you buy is the one for you. And although a brand new ship has just come out um, and it looks cool and it's kind of cool to explore it might not be the ship for you and even if it is it's available for sale all the way through till the end of the event and actually just after the event so don't go out and buy the newest ship right now just to get into the game don't even go buy a starter pack to get into the game because you can wait and see what other things are going to become available all the way through this event so it's the best time to play because you have, you know, quite a few days in a row to try all the different ships, to see what they're like, to see if you enjoy them, see which ones maybe are worth it to you, and really try out the small ships. Try out the Aurora, try out the Cutter, try out the uh, the Mustang, because those are the, the $45 packages. And in fact, there's probably better deals than that. Um, I'm going to check the deals as soon as I request a landing here. I'm going to get nice and close so that hopefully, perfect, my Chevron shows up. Uh, they haven't been showing up if you're a bit farther away from the uh, from the spaceport, so you don't always know which hangar is your hangar, since you can see there's these open doors here as well right now. So you want to be able to fly into the doors of the hangar that was assigned to us, so that's what I'm going to do here. Also, almost forgot to put down my landing gear. So I'm going to come in here and land and then I'm going to kind of go over a couple of the starter packs and then we're going to check out the new alien ship and why even though it's cool it's not the ship for me and I don't think it's the ship for you. Landing 
That's incomplete. Have a pleasant stay. On the main RSI website here, you can have different tabs here on this area here. You want to click on the first one to get to the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo 2953. Click on that, and that's going to get you to the main show, which shows you a lot of what is going on right now. The different ships are available, but it's kind of hard to find. you got to go down here, and we've got to click on Play Now. Enlist Now, Play Now. You already should have a game account. Once you have a game account, you can click on this. And this is kind of where I have a bit of an issue. There are two game packages here. We have the standard and we have the premium. Right now, the standard is an all right deal. There's no referral bonus. The cutter that was uh, for sale with the standard pack with the, uh, the Vara paint and the potential of having a referral bonus did add a lot. But this one here, we have the Mustang Polar Paint. Uh, we have... 1,000 UEC. Now, if you use a referral code like that I have in the link below or I have up on the screen here, you're going to get an extra um, 5,000 UEC as opposed to 1,000 when you start of in-game money. And every time there's a server wipe, you'll start with that money. Uh, you also have 10-year insurance and you have the self-land hangar. If you bought this package normally, it's $45. So you're saving $5 or actually four fifty, I suppose, 10% off. You would only get the ship and 1,000 and self hanger. The insurance, I believe, is three months, not 10 year, and you don't get the polar paint. So you're getting a lot of bonus with a little bit less money. Now, this ship here, $85 for this game package. Currently, that may go up in the future. Uh, on sale, 15% off, so $72.25. That gets you the new Sulian Ching paint, the ship itself. Lifetime insurance, meaning the insurance wouldn't run out. Starting money, 1000 again with a referral code. That'll give you a little bit of extra bonus. And the self-land hangar. And this is what I have an issue with. First of all, you do not need to get this right now. Click fly for free, sign up, play for free. You're going to have the free cutter when you're playing. You do not need to buy the game right now. And secondly, calling this standard and this premium, I would not say this is premium. This is no right buy if you play in the free play event for a while and you decide you know what i'm willing to spend a little bit more money to play this game i'm really enjoying it i would like a better ship and one of those ships would be say something like um the cutlass black so if i go oh i should actually not be on ships let's go to ship upgrades and i'm gonna go sulian oh it has to be on all ships is that even possible? Maybe you can't even upgrade from this ship yet. Hmm. Well, that's even more of an issue if you can't upgrade from it right now. So what I'm going to say right now is if you could get a ship with lifetime insurance, let's say, for instance, I had a Drake Cutter that has lifetime insurance. So I have my Cutter with lifetime insurance, and I would like to get myself something like um, a Titan which is a cool, solid starter ship. Doing that would cost me $15 more. I could upgrade to that, and my insurance would carry over. So even if this only has a couple months insurance, I could get the Titan. But let's go back to the Pledge Store and look at why I don't think that ship necessarily is the best. It's because if we're looking at the Sulian ship here, um, maybe I'm not spelling it right. How do I spell it? Let's look at Gata. S Y. Ooh. So let's see if I was well. Except for it would have showed up on up upgrades, wouldn't it? S Y. Oh, there it is. So you can upgrade to it. Okay. So if you wanted to get yourself like, don't get a Rock DS, uh, a Nomad, you could get the Sulian for the starter pack, which is a normally a seventy dollar ship, but you're getting the um, game package itself. So you're getting the game itself for. 72 and then you upgrade it to the nomad for another ten dollars that would be a better deal but again make sure you want it uh, even if you wanted something like a cutlass black which is another forty dollars you could upgrade to that but i honestly wouldn't use this ship as a um a starter and i'll tell you why it is different than every other ship in the game it's beautiful. I'm going to take a tour through it in another video, kind of check it out, try some different missions with it. But for me, personally, it's really difficult to fly. It's easy once you're in the air, but the taking off, 
because you're facing straight up. Camera controls, landing is a lot harder. The fact that it is limited in what it can do for cargo. Um, you can compare a lot of ships together, and I would compare these two ships. They both are cool starters. They're both similar in price. They're only about $10 apart in price when you look here. Both have interiors with a bed, with a, like a little living quarters. They both have hover technology, I'd say, as well. The difference is this ship holds more cargo. This ship's a bit faster. This ship can hold a rock, which allows you to do some rock mining. Um, I just think this one is easier to fly as a starter. And if you were going to spend more on a starter, I would go with the Nomad and not the Sulian. However, if I was actually going to suggest a starter currently of what's available, if we look at the starter packs here, Currently, it's the, the Mustang. Why spend more than you need to when you can get into the verse, try it out with this? But I'd wait because there's going to be a new cutter coming out. There's going to be other ships coming out. There's possibly going to be other starter packs or other packages or other ships coming out. And you have until the end of the expo to make your choice if you want to get a game and buy a game. And maybe by that point, you'll realize maybe this game isn't for me or maybe I want to wait longer. Or maybe this ship here will grow on you and you'll really like it. But for me, this is going to be a pass for me on this ship. It's just not a ship that I think I would enjoy flying. It looks cool. I'll tell you, walking around in the ship and checking out the speed that the elevator goes up and down, just watching things like the fact they spent time on making toilet paper rolls come out of the wall in the bathroom. Awesome. It's this is the, the level that some of the ships are coming to now when they're being released. When older ships, you're seeing their age a bit until they get their gold passes. They have upgraded the Mustang before the Mustang wasn't able to use its cargo containers. Now it drops down. You can actually put boxes in there. Use it for boxes delivery. You can use this for racing. So you can do racing, cargo. This is a cool starter, and you can play with this one and enjoy it and it has that 10 year insurance and then if you ever want to upgrade it you are going to be able to apply CCUs and upgrade it in the future so far I'd say that but really when I say and on the title of this video is going to say don't get this ship here don't get any ship right now try out the free fly check it out be aware it's going to be super buggy right now hopefully things are going to smooth out a bit but just try the game it's free don't buy anything at the beginning when you can just enjoy the game and check everything out and see what's available. If there's a new exploration cutter coming out and there's a pack for that, it's an awesome starter. I'd even maybe go and say check one of those out. But if one of those comes out, I'm going to talk about any of the other starter packs that show up right now. These are the only two. That's it, everybody. Hopefully this was helpful and hopefully you guys are able to get in the verse and kind of enjoy the game. And if you know why... Um, when I try using the uh, Drake Vulture, the large scraper on a small ship, it wings around. If that's something normal, please let me know in the comments because I'm trying to figure that out. Goodbye, everybody, and I hope to see you soon in the verse.